In previous video, I have introduced Jenkins declarative pipeline. As part of this section, let's see how to do git checkout. This was the code I have used in previous example. Let's slightly change the code here. Uh, inside uh, steps, I want to call uh, git step. I'll also show you how to generate a syntaxes in pipeline. Uh, open pipeline syntax in new tab. Go to sample steps. Find git. And pick up the repository URL. So I want to point to my uh, GitHub account where I have kept a sample Java code. So the branch I want to build is master. Coming to credentials, this repository is public repository. I don't have to give any credentials there. In case if your repositories are private, what we have to do is go to add Jenkins. Go and add credentials. For GitHub, we usually have username and password. So you must provide username and password of the source code repository we are pointing to. Let's provide a credentials ID. Let's call this one GitHub. Add. And select that. And go and get the generated uh, pipeline script. So copy that. So put it inside step. This is one way to uh, check out a code from source code repositories. Let me execute this. I will also show one more way to uh, do a checkout. So build. It has triggered our pipeline code. So if you see that it's using uh, GitHub credentials, it's cloning this repository and it's completing the execution of a job. So this is one way to uh, get source code from uh, Git repository, which we want to build. The other way is, right, uh, we are writing a declarative pipeline scripts in line in this case. Instead of writing scripts in line, we also can pull this script from a uh, source code management tools. So let me do this first. So GitHub Java Home Tech. Uh, I'm using my web application. As part of this source code, I have already a Jenkins file. I don't want to disturb that. Uh, for this demonstration, I want to create new file. Let me call this one Jenkins declarative git. Commit this file. Okay, what we have to do is copy this repository URL. So in place of a pipeline script, point it to uh, a script from SEM. So SEM is git, a repository URL, and uh, if it is having credentials, choose right credentials there. The branch to uh, check out, followed by the location of our Jenkins uh, declarative script. So in our case, the file name is this. and save it so before saving it what i want to do is this step is redundant because 
when I pull my script from git repository like this it automatically does a checkout and if I also have one more step like this it does checkout twice let me show that save build it so if you observe it's using uh, credentials github it's doing a checkout and it's doing checkout again because as i told you when we refer pipeline from sem it automatically does a checkout that is one and we're also using git stage again right that is why it's doing checkout twice when you pull scripts from git you don't have to mention this explicitly